Today, we're very pleasant to invite Mr. Simon Kitson, the director of ASX list company Lithium Plus Minerals Limited. We will together discuss more about Lithium Plus and its latest updates. Welcome, Simon. Hi, Steph. Great to be with you. Um, could you firstly give us a brief introduction of Lithium Plus and its asset portfolio? Yeah, so Lithium Plus is a lithium exploration company, and we're focused on the Bino Lithium field in the Northern Territory. We've got some really prospective lithium properties, and we're actively drilling those properties right now and making really significant lithium discoveries. Um, so as I know that the Lithium Plus actually have a bit different, like uh, more than one project. So one of the, all of them, there's a Bino project will be the first priority at the moment. Yeah, that's right. So Bino is actually, it's probably the leading and most prospective lithium province in Australia. So that's really significant. It's really close to the port of Darwin, less than 50 kilometres, and it's very, very prospective for lithium. In fact, um, there's already one lithium mine that's producing right next to our tenements. So it demonstrates the high potential for these properties. And of course, once we make our discoveries, being close to port and infrastructure means they're going to be very, very low cost mines to produce from. And of course, the lithium we produce will go from the port of Darwin to China, which is, of course, the, the market that's very hungry for lots of lithium that we produce. Lovely. So on that project, what kind of drillings have been completed so far and any impressive results you can share with us? Yeah, so we are very, very active. In fact, this, this year we are drilling 18,000 metres. So that's a lot of drilling and we've already had success. So the first target we drilled was a discovery. We call it the lay prospect and that's identified thick, juicy intercepts of lithium pegmatite. So I'm 40 metres thick, grading 1.5 up to 2% lithium. So they are phenomenally good lithium grades that we've discovered at our first prospect. Um, having had success there, we're about to start drilling on our second prospect and we're hoping to have a further discovery from that drilling campaign. So currently, how many prospects on the, this project? So, so last year, we did a very comprehensive soil sampling program. So that means our geological team, they walked all of our tenements and took samples and correlated that information with ground penetrating radar. That work um, culminated in 19 prospects being identified. That's 19 high priority targets. What we know from the work done by other companies in the bino field is that roughly 50% of pegmatites that come to surface are mineralized. So if we've got 19 targets, we're hoping a good number of those will be become discoveries of the future. And that's what our drilling program will test over coming months. That's good. So what would be the next step for the Bino project? And when we can expect the maiden rock resources? Okay, so we are actively drilling. So the, the next bit of news flow will be the drilling of a well, some of these other prospects. We call it the King's Landing Area, where we've identified four or five pegmatite pegmatite lithium um, fields that come to surface. So we'll be drilling those in the very, very short term. So we are actively working on producing our maiden jaw resource right now. So that will be in relation to our lay prospect. So that's the prospect where we've hit very thick intercepts of lithium pegmatites. We've now, having defined the extent of this um, pegmatite, we're doing what's called infill drilling, which means more holes into that pegmatite to increase our confidence Having done that work, we'll produce our maiden jork resource, which is obviously a significant objective for the company. So that's going to be a key piece of news that will come before the end of this calendar year. Having done that, we'll also do further exploration work on some of our other properties too. So actually for the shareholders, uh, we can see one of the substantial shareholders, Sujo Kathy Energy, uh, which also provided significant support for the recent completed placements. So can you give us an introduction? Who are they? And besides funding, what else they can possibly help for the development of Lithium Plus in the future, um, such as offtake agreement, etc.? Absolutely. So they're a very key, important partner for us. In fact, they're part of the CATL group, which, of course, is the world's largest battery manufacturer based in China. Um, we see them as a tier one partner for our business. They 
uh, have chosen to work with us. They've got a very long-standing relationship with our chairman, Dr. Bin Guo, and we would expect that they would be looking to enter into some form of offtake arrangement as and when we've defined our job resources. So um, that's a great relationship we wish to nurture and work with them to um, facilitate the export of our spodumene to China for processing into um, battery grade, grade lithium. Um, so currently, any other plans for other projects or just currently for the um, next one or two years, we're focusing on the Bino project? We've got so much in front of us in terms of the opportunity at the Bino field. So we've got, as I mentioned earlier, 19 prospects. This is where the lithium comes to surface. It's obviously a great place to explore when you can see it on the surface. We're going to drill below, below that to define hopefully lots and lots of tonnes. And, and then obviously do further work to prove that up into minds of the future. So a lot of work ahead of us focused on the bino lithium field. Lovely. Um, so for the lithium market, how would you comment about this? Look, if we look at the, the big picture, obviously the world is decarbonising. There's a massive transformation as the vehicle fleet in the world goes from petrol and diesel to electric. That obviously is driving a structural change in the demand for lithium. And we're very excited to be part and to be supplying into that growth into the future. As any as anyone will realize, whenever there's a major change in a commodity, there will be fluctuations in price. And we saw last year, the price rose very, very strongly. And of course, naturally it came off those high peaks, but at the end of the day, the prices remain very, very attractive. Um, we know that when we're producing um, lithium from our from our mines in the future, there will be very good margins for our shareholders. So we're very excited to be supplying into this growing market. Yes, totally agree. Um, so for the next six months, I believe the company and the team will be very busy to conduct a lot of drilling works. So can you again help us to summarize what kind of news flows we can expect from Lithium Plus in the next six months? So, so the important thing is the company is fully funded to deliver on its drilling campaign. So we reported cash in excess of $8.3 million, which is sufficient to have two rigs drilling continuously all year. The more we drill, the more we find, the more news flow we can give to the market. And we know good news flow drives share prices. So I would expect lots of news, lots of ASX announcements that will have the potential to drive the share price as we prove up these resources. So it's going to be a very exciting time for Lithium Plus shareholders. Very, very exciting. Um, so any additional information you would like to say to the market and investors? I think watch this space. We've got um, the right leadership um, led by Dr. Bin Guo, our chairman, the founder of the business. He is considered to be one of the gurus or global leaders in the lithium exploration space. I'm delighted to be working with him to, to drive the strategy to really create the next lithium mine in the northern part of Australia, the Bino field, which, um, which I think is going to be very exciting for, for the market. So it's great to be part of that. Thank you. Thank you, Simon, for sharing all those informations. Uh, surely we're very looking forward to hearing more good news in the following months and hope to see you again. Yeah, great chatting to you, Steph. Thank you very much. Thank you.